Um, what is your title? Marilee Waterman Belanger, and I'm the program supervisor for the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. What is Osher? Osher is a membership program focused on people age 50 and over. The initial funding came from the Osher Foundation in San Francisco. There are 118 Osher institutes around the United States. Uh, we are the only one in New Mexico at UNM. Um, the Osher Institute offers 170 courses each year, performances, classes, lectures, um, really focused on that 50 and over um, demographic. Uh, it is a membership organization, so there is a membership fee of $20 and then um, tuition for each course, but there are also membership benefits inherent to uh, the Osher membership in addition to um, access to the courses. Um, there's book checkout privileges at the UNM library system. Uh, there's a free member lecture each month. Um, a number of other benefits, discounts at Pope Joy and Keller Hall, discount to the YMCA of Central Northern New Mexico, and then of course access to the larger Osher community, which is a benefit in oh, and of great. itself. What are some new classes you're offering this semester? Faking It Illusory Art is a new class with uh, James E. Bruce and that'll be happening in July. And if you've ever um, wondered, actually I was just at lunch today and I saw um, this faux brick wall. Um, it was in a, a Greek restaurant. Oh, okay. If you've ever wondered how that's done, this class will actually teach you how to do faux brick, faux stone um, finishes oh. and how that's done and, and it's a very experiential class. And then we're also offering a course called Rock and Roll Renaissance, <laughs> which is uh, pop artists, um, people that are known primarily as pop artists, people like um, Paul McCartney and Chick Corea, who um, are actually writing classical music as well. Oh, great. And then um, the instructor for that class, her name is Jane Ellen, and she's done some other classes with Osher, but this is the first time that particular class has been offered. Um, and then Leslie Donovan is a new instructor for us, and she's doing um, a couple of classes on um, J.R.R. Tolkien, so oh, we're excited. Awesome. Are there any instructors you'd like to highlight? Um, let's see. We, we have some wonderful returning instructors, and um, actually a couple of instructors that are doing uh, courses at both locations. We have uh, the location here at Continuing Education. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a location um, through a partnership with Del Webb Alegria, which is in the Bernalillo area um, oh. on Highway 528. And so there are some instructors that are offering their courses at uh, both sites. Um, for instance, James Gallegos, who is, um, who's done uh, programs with us in the past, is doing a course on Impressionism. Oh, okay. And he's doing that first here at Continuing Ed, and then he's doing it at Del Webb Alegria. Um, let's see, uh, we're doing a course on uh, colonial cooking with <laughs> Roberta Bogus, who is a very popular Osher instructor, has, has a wonderful following. And she's doing a course um, here at Continuing Education, and then she's taking that course out to Del Webb Alegria, oh, and it will be a tasting course she's going to cook for us, so we're very excited. Very nice. Does a student need to be an OSHA member to take a class? You do need to be an OSHA member to take courses, um, but the OSHA membership is only $20 and it's good through December 31st oh, okay. of this year. And we're, we've been running a promotional. Um, if, you, uh, if you bring in a friend or a relative or a uh, colleague as an OSHER member, you actually receive a free OSHER course. Oh. So it's another way to um, actually receive a free course and, and bring in someone that you might like to take a class with. Yeah. Who can become an OSHER member? Well, we, we market to people age 50 and over, and that's our primary demographic. About 99% of our members, and our membership is um, right around 660 members right now. Oh. <laughs> um, about 99% of those members are people age 50 and over, but we do have, um, we, we are not exclusive, we are inclusive, so if there was someone who was in their 20s or 30s 
or even 40s who was interested in, in coming in and taking an OSHER class, we would certainly welcome that. And we certainly have um, people who are, are uh, younger OSHER members that come in and take classes with either um, spouses who are members, with siblings who are members, or with friends who are members. Okay. What types of courses do the OSHER program offer? Well, we have a number of different areas. Um, certainly, art and art history are, are very popular areas, and, and um, history courses uh, are, are consistently some of our most popular courses, and we offer a lot of history courses this semester, um, during the summer semester. Uh, literature and writing courses. Um, we have uh, science and technology courses, music and, and performance theater courses, um, psychology, science, uh, spirituality, travel, and then culture, um, different aspects of culture. Okay. So um, I think more so than developing courses within specific categories, we actually look at a particular course that comes to us and and try and figure out where exactly to plug that in. And there are a number of courses. Um, for instance, uh, we have a course in the um, in the summer called Fairies, Devas, and Angels. Oh, it's being offered under spirituality, but there are certainly other areas where it might be offered as well. Okay. Could you tell us one of your favorite Osher stories or experiences? One of my favorite Osher stories or experiences. We have she would she would not feel uncomfortable with me sharing this. Um, Terry Savello is uh, one of our members, very active member, and she's a writer. Um, she actually came to Osher, uh, relocated from the Northeast. She's a, a native New Yorker, uh, relocated and joined Osher last summer. Uh, took a memoir writing course that we're actually offering again this summer. It's called Unpacking Your Suitcase Writing Memoir. It was offered as a six-week course and Terry came in and started writing with the group. Had been writing for a while and um, writing these really wonderful stories and remembrances of her mom and her dad and her family and um, just, just a really neat lady. Um, she actually had one of those stories published recently oh. in an anthology oh, wow. and was was very um, kind to to the group that was involved in that class um, in terms of uh, them encouraging her and oh. and providing the encouragement and, and the feedback to actually have the story published in this our, our free member lecture this month is James Gallegos and he'll be doing a program on America's museums and their stories and that will be on May 18th from 1 to 3 p.m. in building, North Building Rooms B and C. Um, we generally offer light refreshments. June will be uh, Nandini Pilar Kuhn, and Nandini will be doing a program on um, the uh, health care plan, the health care bill and its impact on New Mexico. That will be on June 9th. It will be from 6 to 8 p.m.